We have already told you that what has been hidden from your sight will be revealed, and indeed, it is already happening. Matters that have been hidden away from the light are gradually surfacing and being seen for what they really are. The negative forces are no longer able to do just as they wish without being accountable and their activities are being brought to light. You are in what you might call a waiting period when the activities around you seem never ending as the cleansing continues. Many deaths are taking place, but as unlikely as it would seem, everything has been planned in advance. After all, each soul has taken a life upon earth, knowing what to expect, having already had a review of their likely experiences and accepted them. They have found their right place where the opportunities exist to play out their life plan. Many of you are saying time is flying by and is doing so purposefully because everything is in flux at this point. You are experiencing a time shift at this point. More and more time is shifting. You can even say that the time-space continuum is beginning to shift more and more. That will come and understanding to that will come at a later point. For now, just know that you are in a transition period. Transition from the old ways, the old third dimensional visionary ways. Into the higher vibrational frequency of the fourth and fifth dimension and the new golden age, a golden age that you have experienced before. Even though you may not be aware, or those of what you call the general public may not be aware of these changes, they are happening. And people are waking up everywhere. A grand awakening is in process. That is what this is all about. This transition that you are moving through at this point is all about the awakening of mankind. The awakening of the collective consciousness of man. That is what you came here for. That is why this is all happening as it is happening. And know that it is not about what is coming, it is about what is already here now. Here now in this moment, you are experiencing the new birth of the Christ Consciousness here on the planet. This awakening, the truth coming forward everywhere, is about the Christ Consciousness coming back into this planet. Just as the Great One, Yeshua, attempted to share this Christ Consciousness with all that would be aware of it, all that would allow him to share it, just as that was happening, it is all about what is happening now in this moment. In this moment, great change is upon you. Great change here now in this moment. The human race is made up of so many different ones, each offering you unique experiences. So as you reincarnate, you are certain to choose the one that best meets your needs. It is often why you feel a strong attraction to another race apart from the one you are with. Telling you that old experiences still hold a strong attraction for you even if you cannot recall why. They affect you in one way or another in each lifetime and it could even be as simple as your food preferences. The more you learn about life and life after death, the more your eyes are opened and your guides are sure to help you find the correct path for your development. It is of little value to run before you can walk and you should find a suitable path that meets your needs. The beauty of religion is that it all contains some element of the truth and you will recognize it for what it is. You could say love one and another and treat all as your brothers and sisters as you are all on the same journey and will eventually arrive at the same point of understanding. 
Some souls are not even ready to seek the truth and most have no expectations of life after death. But the truth will touch them and give a little hint that there is more to life than they believe. Clearly a change of thinking will start them wondering about life after death and that could be the spur that they need to commence their journey home. How often do you hear someone say that there must be more to life than simply one experience and nothing afterwards? You will notice more and more now in the days and weeks and months ahead the transition will continue to gain momentum more and more. The truth everywhere shall come from many different forces and many different directions. This truth shall come forward. It will not only be for those that have the ears to hear as it is now, but for many, many more who are ready to listen who are ready to be open to the possibilities and the potentials of the human race and to each individual one within that human race. You only need to continue to move forward now. Move forward with an understanding that you are in the right place, the right time, and the right moment. Even though everything around you will be seeming to be going to as you're saying, going to hell in a handbasket. It will not be for you because you will not be looking at it in that way. And if you have been looking at it in that way, it is time to stop. It is time to look ahead now. To be in the moment, but to look ahead and see the glory that is ahead for all of you. Do not hold on to the fear. Do not hold on to the despair, to the depression, to the sickness and illnesses. Do not hold on to that. That is only part of the illusion, and the illusion is fading faster and faster now. And the veil as you know it is really not even there anymore. It is only there for those who believe it is there. Many, many more are in this awakening process than you can possibly imagine at this point. Even though they are not showing the signs that you might be looking for, they are indeed in that process now. True, there are those that will very likely never wake up, not in this go around, but it is not about this for you. It is not for you to be concerned about their past, only about your past. Your past that is taking you further and further into the light of truth, further and further through this transition. Further and further through this ascension process, and further and further away from the old three-dimensional illusionary programs. The programs that have followed you through this entire life, the programs that have followed you from lifetime to lifetime, are now coming to an end. And that is what you need to realize. That is what you need to understand that the old programming is indeed coming to an end. And the more that you come to realize and know that, then the more indeed it shall be at an end. And the new programming, the new creative program, the new imaginative program that you are bringing about will be your life moving forward. So know that. However, as the vibrations are higher and you in an etheric body, you will quickly realize that you are young again. You will be what you think you are as far as your appearance, and if you desire to look as you were on earth, so be it, but you would still be free of all ailments. It is the power of thought that reigns supreme meaning that you could think anything into being. Life after death of the body is another story completely. But bear in mind that those souls of a very low vibration do not have sufficiently high vibrations to be able to change them through the power of thought. 
many are only able to exist in the darker regions, but be assured that they still get guides who help them come to terms with their level of existence. They will have opportunities to incarnate again and gain experience that may eventually see them rise up once more. You always have help on hand when you need it. Dear ones, there is so much help and guidance available to you at all times, so never feel as though you have none, it is always there and much of the time you probably do not realize it. It is often those unexpected situations that are proving difficult that suddenly clear themselves from help being given that you are unaware of. Events that you talk of as miracles are the work of your guides who know what you need. Life is a lot more complex than you probably realize, yet it often passes you by without being noticed. So more and more, trust in yourselves. Trust in your guides working with you, trusting your higher God self within you, and that you are being led in the direction you need to move toward. And if it is within your path to prepare for any potentialities to occur, then do so. But do so without fear. For if you hold on to fear, then you will be creating the very situation that you are wishing to avoid. Know that. Prepare. Do what you need to do, what you feel is right to do. Do it with peace of mind. That is all this is about, having peace of mind to continue to move forward in the day-to-day -day process, in the day-to-day -day transition that you are moving through. The path in front of you is wide open. It is not a singular path any longer. It is wide open for all to follow that path. Follow it in whatever direction it needs to take you. For that direction that you are moving toward is the direction you need to move forward to. Know that everything is in process. Know that everything is exactly as it needs to be in this moment, as part of the great universal plan. The plan for each and every one of you, the plan for the collective consciousness of this planet, the plan for the planetary consciousness herself and on into the solar system and the galaxy itself. All is in change, all is in flux at this point. So know that you are a bigger part of all of this than you may have thought you were, but all indeed are a part of the whole. I am Saint Germain and I leave you now in peace and love and oneness and that you continue to move forward, always moving forward on into the light, the light of truth.